Hey guys, uh, I've been a YouTuber for quite a while and being a YouTuber means that you get to test a lot of a lot of things, some good, some bad, and it is inevitably to get spoiled. And I am spoiled by now for sure when it comes to air guns. And I'm just so happy that we still have uh, projects and uh, products like GK1 and now Mora. So this is of course the highly anticipated, at least from my side, I guess from your side as well, a new PCP uh, uh, rifle bullpup from RTI Arms. Uh, by the way, the Mora name means Mare or Nightmare. So that is the name, it's in Slovenian language. Now, um, RTI is of course a Slovenian company uh, and I'm also from Slovenia. That means that uh, we are always cooperating. There are my local company and there are uh, some things that I actually participate in development on suggested and some, uh, that is in particular even more uh, the reason why this product is interesting to me. Um, you might have uh, already seen my first video when I just briefly showed the 9mm only for accuracy at 100 yards. This thing is accurate and it's powerful and it's big and it's all the best it can be. So if, when you look at RTI lineup, this is kind of the big brother, let's say the biggest uh, rifle they have till now. It's a big brother to Prophet or Priest uh, and it is big for sure. Uh, I will not give any uh, numbers in this video, neither price, neither dimension, neither weight, because this is still, a, let's say, a pre-production prototype. The actual gun is already, the, the production version is already being produced, I'm told, but I haven't got my hands on it uh, yet, so that's why I'm putting a little reserve for the production version when I receive it in my hands, and you will get a full uh, information review on that one so but still um, it is literally one day from uh, me leaving for uh, Eva uh, show in Germany Nuremberg so I wanted to make this video before and give you some information uh, about it uh, and some clarification for the first video uh, so let's just get through it being a working prototype uh, pre-production prototype I should say uh, I did not get all the parts that uh, can come with this rifle. This rifle will have just probably, it will be uh, just even too much accessories that are possible. Um, some uh, I will show you pictures of. There are different type of rails. You have m in uh, below so you can add anything that you want. You have uh, the, uh, adjustments for the elevation of the scope, etc. etc. You can put different bottles. We will get through it uh, a little bit today, but you will definitely not uh, see everything. My favorite setup is still as you see it. This is a 600 millimeter barrel. I would prefer 700 and on production version, I definitely want to test as much as possible 700, but this is a 600 millimeter barrel. There is already a suppressed part, so the shroud is over the barrel. The barrel is up to about here. So uh, in a smaller caliber, let's say up to 25, maybe 30, this is plenty. I mean, even for nine millimeter is plenty, but you can actually add an additional moderator you can thread it in of course you get the gun even longer and <laughs> if you watched my first video with nine millimeter i actually had 700 millimeter millimeter barrel so the barrel was already longer plus this additional suppressor so that was extreme of extremes uh, and uh, i unfortunately i only have this uh, for 600 millimeter uh, length shroud so I don't have the, the version that is for 700 millimeters. That's why in that video you actually sh uh, saw some naked barrel here because I was actually using this uh, shroud on 700 millimeter barrel. At the moment I have all calibers except 9 millimeters in 600 millimeter, but 9 uh, but 9 millimeter I have in 700 millimeters. And again, that is the video you saw. Um, uh, I am hoping and it, everything should be available also in 700 millimeter, probably not 177, 22 and 25 for sure and 30 of course. 
because with this kind of setup you kind of want to have that long barrel to get that extreme powers. Uh, uh, if you watched uh, maybe some EVA 2022 um, uh, uh, videos already, you will know the powers, the, the powers are quite crazy. It's close to 150 in 22, 150 joules that is, and uh, close to 200 in 25. Uh, joules so uh, 200 joules in 25 caliber etc etc in 9 millimeter I was shooting in excess of 300 joules so the thing that is different about this rifle to me I've sh I have you know you're, you're kind of used to those big bore uh, air guns they're kind of let's say uh, for very few shots and uh, usually unregulated some un uh, some regulated but still it's very very few shots with this you have a lot a lot more flexibility and uh, partially that is because you can actually fit uh, many different uh, bottles to this gun so at the moment we have the regulated regulator orientated in this direction meaning that the um, thread is a little higher so the clearance is for smaller or thinner bottle, bottle I should say, but you can actually rotate this whole uh, regulator block for 90 degrees and you actually get the uh, thread lower. Um, by the way, you can also uh, put, the, put the gauge on either side, so either this side or this side, this is all, uh, all up to you, it's interchangeable. And once you have that block rotated, you can actually mount this on. And this is 1.1 liter bottle. And with that, a 9mm is just, uh, of course, plenty of shots, extreme high power. Ex ex actually exactly what you want. So, um, uh, mentioning that this is uh, still a uh, um, final pre-production version, uh, mine is still fitted with a regular regulator. Uh, the uh, final production version should come with a dual uh, regulator. Actually, the first will be uh, in this uh, last uh, part of the bottle, the first stage, and the second stage, so the second uh, regulator, will actually be in here and adjustable, very similar as in Prophet or Priest. So here you can adjust it and you can check the pressure back here. So this is the plenum pressure. And this is the unregulated pressure here. Um, as I mentioned, you can choose on which side you want to have the gauge. This lever will probably be slightly shorter, so it will not cover the gauge. At least that's what I'm, that's what I'm told. Uh, so what else? Uh, one very important difference between uh, Priest uh, and uh, Prophet and this rifle is that this rifle, uh, the barrel is completely differently mounted, but the good side is that actually the barrels will still be interchangeable, meaning that you will be able to use barrels from Priest Prophet on this rifle as well as vice versa. And the difference is uh, that the barrel here is clamped over here on the top. This is the same as on uh, Prophet Priest. Uh, and, and the front side is actually clamped only here and the clamping is done so it's actually a nut from this side, this is the nut, and it's threaded in and it actually uh, compresses the uh, uh, barrel in between. So it is dual point mount and from here forward is floating. And this really plays a big role when it comes to accuracy. Um, and you will see that when I make a full review of it and uh, all the calibers on the targets. You already saw 9mm, it's one MOA, that's crazy, right? Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, uh, sorry, I'm a bit excited. <laughs> also by the fact that I'm going to EVA tomorrow. Um, so, uh, the another difference is that uh, Priest Prophet had rear block and front block and basically the uh, the thing that hold that front and rear block together was actually the barrel and the connecting hose for the high pressure in this case it is different it is actually a dedicated piece so this is this whole piece the the whole uh, let's say action is a really rigid design and that again influences the accuracy very positively um, Similar then with uh, Prophet Priest, you have uh, adjustable cheek piece, 
an adjustable butt plate, rubberized. Um, you still have options to adjust hammer spring, but uh, something we haven't touched yet, this rifle is pressure, uh, does have a pressure assisted valve, and that means that uh, you don't have the wheel anymore to adjust hammer spring because you don't need to. Because you need to do that only once for the highest pressure that we use. From there on you adjust the power via uh, pressure on the regulator. But there is one more adjust adjustment which is really really important and also makes this run uh, this gun to be in the high, much higher class than Prophet Priest because of it. And that is this adjustment that you have have here on the bottom so it's a six millimeter allen key and it have it has clicks and you can adjust it i think it's eight rotations or something like that i forgot doesn't matter but what this does is actually uh, reduces or enlarges the small volume in the pressure assisted valve that actually uh, influences how long the valve is open. So you can fully close this one and have the valve extremely short amount of time open. But, or you can fully open it and have the, it's a sort of a 12, uh, 12, 12 uh, uh, adjustment uh, timing of the valve that is available here. This doesn't necessarily directly influences the velocity of the projectile because if you have the lower weight projector it will have the uh, the power as it has with that pressure regardless of this setting because the smallest setting of the dwell time so the shortest timing will still be enough to propel at that maximum velocity but the thing is that if you remember uh, me explaining the uh, upsides and downsides of this pressure assisted valves um, the downsides were that with heavier uh, pellets slugs uh, you might get lower power sometimes because the valve closes too fast. In this case, you can actually adjust that, and that is huge in my mind. And because of that, you and uh, so basically two adjustments: uh, regulator pressure and this dwell time. You can adjust this gun to be like the smallest caliber, smallest power, uh, within reason, uh, and extremely efficient. And you can still go to nine millimeters and have that three hundred joules plus power. And that is just amazing. Uh, another thing I would mention, uh, since I was mentioning the, this whole chassis, this, uh, let's say, action of the rifle, uh, because of this extremely rigid design, of course, also huge plenum, which I haven't mentioned yet. Plenum is two cylinders in here. It's really huge. I don't know the exact cc's, but I think it's over uh, 150 cc's course again to be able to shoot uh, high calibers but uh, as i was mentioning the chassis this really rigid design and the fact that the gun is heavier uh, means that you can actually shoot the nine millimeter i mean it doesn't, doesn't even feel like you're shooting 22 it's completely still all you get is that push back from recoil which is fun in uh, let's say uh, normal circumstances what an air gun can air guns can produce uh, but no vibration, nothing, it's so quiet and it's just a dream to shoot and I never imagined that I would be shooting such a big caliber, uh, I was mentioning 9mm, uh, a rifle, air gun rifle with uh, so little stress or ju just, it's just so nice. And of course adding a moderator and being really quiet adds to that experience. Uh, so let's get uh, back to the couple of things that are unique to this rifle. So I was mentioning the valve and the adjustments. You also have uh, additional safety here, which blocks completely the operation. So the hammer cannot touch the, the valve anymore. So it, it's safe in any, uh, so cocked, uncocked, in any position it makes the gun completely safe. That is really nice, considering the power that this rifle can output. The trigger mechanism in the back is actually the same as on uh, Priest or uh, Prophet, which I'm perfectly okay with, but because that trigger was really, really nice, and it still is. Uh, the trigger is uh, a different, uh, is fully adjustable blade now, so you can rotate it, move it up, down, uh, and of course the length of pull, uh, weight and everything else is still adjustable as it was before. The cocking is ridiculously easy. That's it. That's all the cocking. 
And if you don't believe me that this is for full power, I will make a dry shot now. So that is for getting over 300 joules in 9mm. So that's just amazing. A um, couple of uh, different, a uh, uh, couple of uh, additions also. Here are the, the pellet probe. I cannot show you here, but the pellet probe actually has an option to adjust how far in it pushes the pellet or slug. So this is really nice to get that maximum accuracy because as you might know, uh, that position uh, where the pellet or slug is uh, in, in the bed that it is correctly, the, the how far forward it is pushed, it's extremely important for accuracy. I would claim that that is as much as important as having a good muzzle brake on the barrel, muzzle crown, I should say, not muzzle brake. Um, uh, so I think I covered the gist of it. My favorite configuration is, as I mentioned, like this with 700 cc bottle. You can also get 1.1 liter or 1100 cc. This is, for example, for comparison the 500 cc as it is in Prophet or Priest. Um, this is my favorite configuration. I will probably shoot more with 700 millimeter barrel, but I will probably use 700 cc. Uh, barrel, uh, sorry, um, cylinder, unless if I'm with, working with 9mm then this puppy will do the trick for sure. Uh, one more clarification, in the first video I was shooting without a magazine, there were some comments whether this rifle has magazine or not, yes it most definitely has. This is the 25 caliber version, this is also pre-production prototype version, I only have it in 25 caliber right now. That's why I was hand loading the 9mm. Uh, another thing, a very important thing besides the fact of how many uh, pellet slugs you can fit inside uh, about this magazine is that it's extremely thick. Uh, so you can get slug lengths. I will not mention pellets anymore because I'm not sure why I am till now. Uh, you can load in slugs up to roughly one uh, so 16, 17 millimeter or maybe even 18, I'm not sure. So really huge slugs, kind of slugs, for example, that I'm using also in R5, which is completely customized. And uh, you do want those slugs because, for example, I was shooting just, just yesterday, I was shooting with this gun, uh, 50 grain uh, slugs and everything maxed out at about uh, 190, 200 bars on the regulator and I was close to supersonic speed with 50 grain in 25 caliber. So it was too much. Uh, the bow tail slugs that I was shooting, that was those were uh, Altaros slugs, uh, were actually getting to be unstable because of the velocity. So it was too high. So definitely uh, if you want that maximum power. Of course, I could reduce it and I did reduce it with that uh, slugs and those were incredibly accurate in this gun. Uh, but uh, if you really want to have full potential and really get that max power, you have to use heavier slugs in this gun. So that's it. That's it, me rambling. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you are visiting Iowa, let me know and uh, we can have a chat. And uh, see you in the next one.